Welcome back into Pittsburgh Steelers Talk for the second time today. I am Tom Downey here in the fifth rarely used chat sports studio. That's why it looks a little bit different behind me here. We're going to break down another trade the Pittsburgh Steelers made, plus the final five roster cuts that have solidified the initial 53-man roster here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But first, this is our second video of the day. If you missed the first one, I'll link it in the comment section and the description. But make sure you're subscribed. That way you don't miss out on these videos. We have videos pretty much every single day here at Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. You don't want to miss out. Subscribe for free right now. The second trade following the earlier one today of Malik Reed is offensive line depth. Jesse Davis, the former Dolphin, spent this preseason camp with the Minnesota Vikings. He is now joining the Steelers. The Pittsburgh Org has only given up a 2025 seventh round pick. So not next year's draft, not the draft after it, all the way out in 2025 to acquire a potential backup offensive lineman for the organization. The issue is Davis was bad, although I do think Brian Flores probably had some pretty big uh, input into this move given the fact that, you know, he has been around the organization with Miami for a long time. Davis struggled last year for an admittedly garbage-tier uh, Steelers or Dolphins offensive line. Jesse Davis had has played all over, but he was bad, to be blunt. He had allowed eight sacks, ten hits, a whopping 39 hurries. His PFF run grade wasn't that much better. The Steelers are not getting a, a clear upgrade anywhere on the offensive line. But they are getting a guy that can play almost any spot on the O-line. I think your starting five stays the same. Jesse Davis can take over. I'll put him at right tackle. For him, but he can play right guard, left guard, right tackle, left tackle. He's not necessarily someone I feel comfortable starting, but he is someone if you have to plug him in at, I don't know, a right tackle for a game. If he needs to be your backup super swing lineman, there is value from that standpoint. That's the O-line depth chart so far. But of the two trades today, which one do you like more? Type in JD for Jesse Davis or MR for Malik Reed. I like the Malik Reed trade a lot more. I think that's a better football player. I love that move for Pittsburgh. But this is a show for you guys just to sound off and give your opinion. Which trade do you like better? JD, MR. All right, the final five cuts. We broke down almost all of them earlier today. Make sure you checked out that video. Joe Haig has been released. Trent Scott has been released. Marcus Allen, the linebacker. Anthony McFarlane and Justin Lane. Those are your final five cuts. I will make note, keep an eye out for one of those guys being brought back. Demonte Casey is not going to be put on IR immediately. He's going to be carried through, then put on IR, open up a chance for him to come back next year. Once he goes on IR, that's at least one more spot open. Maybe it's Joe Hagio with nine O-linemen. That could make some more sense. He's not subject to waivers. That's just pure speculation on my end. Keep an eye on somebody noteworthy coming back, though, or a new waiver claim coming through for the Steelers once that process is finalized. That I think it's noon Eastern, 1 p.m. Eastern. I can't remember the top of my head there. Tomorrow for Pittsburgh. So of those five final cuts, Haig, Scott, Alan McFarland, and Justin Lane, which one shocked you guys the most? Let me know in the comments section which of the five final roster cuts by the Steelers surprised you the most. Let's break down then the initial 53-man roster for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mitch Trubisky is quarterback one. I know Mike Tomlin said, well, I haven't named a starter. Okay, there's been one quarterback who started all three of your preseason games and got most of the reps with the ones. Doesn't take a rocket sign to figure out who it is. It's going to be Trubisky, whether it's announced on... Wednesday or Friday or Sunday or next Tuesday, whatever. He's quarterback one. Pickett is quarterback two. As of roster cut down time, there was no Mason Rudolph trade. Maybe something changes. I still don't think there was that much interest in Mr. Rudolph when it was all said and done. All right, the running backs now with Anthony McFarlane out. Najee Harris leads the way. Jalen Warren is RB2. Benny Snell, who has also been a bit banged up, so we'll see if something happens there injury-wise, but he played uh, in the final preseason game, so probably not. He's RB3. We'll label Hayward on there for the hell of it, but Derek Watt is your fullback, so it's going to be, once again, a heavy dosage of Najee Harris in the backfield for Pittsburgh. All right, the receivers, they're going with seven, at least for now, uh, which I find quite interesting. 
or excuse me, math is, yeah, seven. Math almost got me there because Anthony Miller's already on IR. Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, George Pickin, Gunn Olszewski, Calvin Austin. See if he goes on IR. Miles Boykin and Steven Sims. Those seven make your 53-man roster. Boykin and Sims both offer some fairly valuable special teams uh, input as well. Tight end, it's a three-man unit. Pat Fryermuth, Zach Gentry, and rookie Connor Hayward make the team for Pittsburgh. And as things sit right now, eight offensive linemen. That does still seem light to me. As I've said, I would not rule out. Maybe it's a Joe Hay coming back. Maybe it's somebody else altogether. But I wouldn't rule out Pittsburgh making another move in some capacity to add some more talent, add some more depth. Uh, to a rather thin, and I would argue troubling, offensive line unit in Pittsburgh. So rate the Steelers' 53-man roster for me right now in the comment section. From 1 to 100, how do you feel about that team? Madden style, so, you know, it's probably 100, not a 1. Somewhere in the 70s, 80s, most likely. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about that Steelers, off or Steelers roster as we sit right now. Seven men up front on the defensive line. No moves there, at least not yet injury-wise. Cam Hayward, Larry Ogunjobi, Tyson Alulu, DeMarvin Leal, Isaiah Loudermilk, Chris Wormley, and Montrevis Adams. Pittsburgh going deep with the initial roster on the interior of that defensive line. The edge rushing group, it looks a lot different. You got two former Broncos players on there, Derek Tuska and Malik Reed as your backups. Then it's TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith, who will be your workload leaders. I guess that's the phrase to use there at the edge rusher spot. Let's go to the inside linebacker grouping right now. It's also four, so a bit thin here overall. Miles Jack, Devin Bush, Robert Spillane, and Mark Robinson. They uh, surprisingly cut Buddy Johnson makes it the practice squad. That one shocked me earlier today, but that's where Pittsburgh's at uh, at the inside linebacker position. So with the release, somewhat surprising maybe, of Justin Lane, that is not time to be a very good third-round pick. Top three corners remain Akella Witherspoon, Levi Wallace, Cam Sutton, Arthur Mall who can play some nickel corner for you, is back. James Pierre also back. But it's just five at corner. And for now, it is five at safety. Minka Fitzpatrick, Terrell Edmonds, Trey Norwood offers you some safety corner hybrid ability. They're back. Miles Killebrew is the other safety. We're not going to put DeMonte Casey on IR for now. Although that left the bottom thing, bottom left, it's not a big deal. He will go to IR tomorrow. They'll carry him through an initial roster cuts, then put him on IR, freeing up an extra roster spot. So with that in mind... Make sure you guys are subscribed. That way you don't miss out on any of the other Pittsburgh Steelers videos as they happen here. We can run through one time the other cuts that happened earlier this week, if you don't mind for me, Patrick, just quickly in case you guys missed it. But we broke that down earlier today. This is the second video of the day after all. So we'll break down all the cuts rapid fire here momentarily. But make sure you guys are subscribed to us here at Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. It's YouTube.com slash Steelers TV. All right, one more time. Rapidest of fires. Joe Haig, Trent Scott, Marcus Allen, McFarland, Justin Lane, your cuts most recently. Then the initial wave of cuts that uh, the series reported earlier today. Lyndon Stevens, Elijah Riley, Chris Steele, Carlins Pat Platel. The defensive backs waved. Platel will go to IR once he clears waivers. Rondell Carter, Carter, Buddy Johnson, Hamilcut Rashid Jr. It is pronounced Hamilcut, by the way. Delonte Scott and James Vonters released at linebacker. Donovan Jeter. Khalil Davis and Carlos Davis, both Davis twins, get cut, unfortunately. Henry Mando also released along that defensive line. On offense, Max Borgie cut, Tyler Sneed, Tyler Vons, Cody White, Kevin Rader, so that is both Tylers who get cut. And then the other offensive players, Jay Sternberger cut, Adrian Ely, John LeGlue, who could be a prime practice squad candidate, Ryan McCullum, and William Dunkel as well, all cut by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Again, we broke that down earlier today, but I wanted to run through it one more time in case you missed it. But next time, don't miss it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to us here at Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. Free videos pretty much every single day. Hit that big red button.